Hi teachers, progress monitoring visualizations are here. So you can finally stop spending um, hours putting together graphs and makeshift charts because Terra literally does all of that for you. There's so many benefits and unique features hidden in this tool, but today I'm gonna to focus on the top three ways our progress monitoring graphs will absolutely change the way that you monitor student data towards our IEP goals. Before we start, just want to give a friendly reminder that if parts of Terra seemed a little squeezed for you, you can always zoom out your screen with command minus or control minus. And if you're looking for a tutorial on how to add students' objectives and goals, I've linked that original video below. Okay, so as you can see, um, I already have one of my students added in, into the progress monitoring tracker with two different IEP goals and objectives. So to view the progress visualization for this student, I'm gonna click on the little graph icon next to the student's name, right here. So number one, Tara actually helps you create and map out attainable benchmarks or objectives for annual IEP goals. When you initially add a student and their IEP goal to the tracker, Tara automatically creates this trend line for you. So when you're mapping out objectives throughout the year, you can use the natural progression of this line to create attainable benchmarks. So for example, if we're measuring five out of five, Tara helps you determine that in December, a good objective might be two out of five. So once you've added a few objectives, your visualization will look something like this. And once you've given an assessment or observed student progress towards the objective or goal, you can record that data point by clicking the blue add update button here. And that brings me to number two. Tara helps you know whether your students are on or off track to meet their goal with a single glance. So now you can see that I've given a few assessments and record each grade or data point in my tracker, which automatically graphs them here as blue dots. For this math goal, I can see that Ashley is on track to meet her IEP goal because the progress data points are generally following the trend line and the data is consistently improving, which is great. But let's take a look at this second goal. So for this IEP goal, I can see the assessment data is pretty inconsistent and Ashley doesn't exactly seem to be on track to meet her goal by May. So with one glance at this visualization, I know to remediate the skill, provide extra one-on-one -on -one support, or intervene to get Ashley back on track to meet her goal. And last but not least, we have number three, progress reports. As you already know, there are several people invested in Ashley's education, and as special educators, it's our job to provide evidence of progress towards these IEP goals. Tara makes this process super simple and gives you an instant data configuration to share with parents, administrators, and IEP teams. To export a full report of student progress, click the export button next to the student's name. Tara automatically organizes all goals, benchmarks, and assessment data into a neat little chart, and of course, the progress visualizations. So you can quickly print and bring to an IEP meeting or conference or provide an update via email. And that's it. Last reminder for individual teachers, you can try the SPED HQ and access the progress monitoring tracker, graphs, and so much more for free by clicking the link below.